Hi plant friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to bring you back to the place that started it all, Edward's Greenhouse. Please don't go back and watch it, it's a super embarrassing video, but it's the first video on my channel where I brought you to Edward's and I did like a little weird voiceover greenhouse tour, but I'm back and I wanted to show you the greenhouse with my voice in real life. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So to start, this is kind of like the general area. They mostly specialize in like outside plants, but here's the inside plants. Also, Natalie's here. Say hi, hi Natalie. You look so pretty. <laughs> Show off your highlighter. <gasps> wow. Well, let's start. We have ficus, fiddly fig. We have Calathea white fusion, Hoya, ooh, just says four inch. $14, oh, that's a little expensive. I think this is the, oh, I'm so bad at this. This is the Crimson Princess. I got my very first Hoya here. This is a Peperomia, I do not know which species, it probably doesn't say. Red stem. Hmm. Okay, Peperomia red stem. We also have Peperomia Ginny, which has these pretty red edges. We have a lot of Calathea White Fusion. We have some Lemon Lime something. Pothos, okay. I can't tell between the Pothos and the Philodendrons. We have a nice Hoya Carnosa. Oh, just kidding, it's a tricolor, kind of. <laughs> we have some zebra plants. And Agliomima. Whoa, I've never seen this species of Agliomima before. Agliomima white. This looks like the Diffenbachia that they sell at Home Depot. We have this Agliomima. Then we have some Sansevierias. We have this massive Euphorbia, like so big that spiders live there. It is home to creatures. We oh. have Dracaena warneckii. Which is that guy. More Sansevieria, very, very tall ficus. I don't know if you can tell, but that's like, what, Natalie, like 10 feet? Oh, yeah. Very big ficus. I wonder what the price on that is. We'll check on the other side. We have more Neon Pothos, a money tree? I think that's a money tree. More ficus. We have Calathea macanoia, which is like my favorite Calathea. This, I believe, is also a ficus, but I don't know this species. Got some more Dracaena warnecii and fiddly figs. We have Dracaena magenta. Cute. We have more neon pothos maybe? Pothos neon. We have ficus benjamina variegata. It's no tag. Ficus Benjamina Variegata. We have, ooh, what are you? What are you? Okay, so this pot doesn't have a name, but it has flowers like this. It almost looks like an olive tree, but not, the leaves aren't quite right for an olive tree. We have some ivy, some steel plants. I think this is, yeah, Spathophyllum. We got some struggling ZZs over here. This Jasmine, Fiona surprise. Well, look down again, like you just did. Whoa, wait, right, oh my gosh, the highlight. See that, I think that is what an olive tree is. And we have cute little ZZs, Spathophyllum domino, which they've only ever carried like one other time. So it's nice that we have more. Very bright. Then we have some. <laughs> this is one of the first plants I ever bought. Actually, I ended up not making it. Peperomia axillaris for nine dollars. I called him Bean Boy. <laughs> um, he ended up dying. <laughs> Rip. This one is actually really pretty. I don't normally like Peperomia obovata, but I really like the green accentation, like on top of everything else. That's nice. This one is Peperomia lemon lime. We have 
special pepperoni. Yeah, this one is happy beans. Oh my gosh, Pepperomi, happy beans, nice to meet you. We have, oh boy, here's the view. <laughs> a lot of Sansevieri. Okay, so these big pots, these are 12 inch pots. These are about, oh, 14 inch pots. These are $177. The smaller one is 57. It says whale fin, but I don't, I don't think so. 177 for this one too. 177 for the really big ficus we saw. This guy. Down here we just have a lot of Sansevieria. I think they're all the same price too. Yeah, $30 for all of them. 27 for those ones. This is uh, Sansevieria Moonshine, which is a Sansevieria I have thought about getting, but I mean... I think Sansevieria are kind of boring. Don't at me. Sorry. <laughs> these ones are also cute. I have one of these somewhere in my house, I think. Then we have Crotons, which if you know me, you know they are not my favorite. But whatever's happening here with this fungus looks super cool. So if Crotons looked like that naturally, then yes, I would. I would be here for it. More Crotons. And a Natalie again. Well, that's such good lighting. Down here, ooh, we have a Calathea I've never seen before. Okay, it doesn't say the name. I will look up the name and put it right there or here. I can't remember which side it'll show up on. This is a very special Calathea though. It's very uncommon. The lines are so pretty. I'm here for it. Then we have Rattlesnake Calathea, more Calathea Machanoia. These are $15. And probably the same. Yeah, $15. We have some, ooh. These are called Japanese paper plants, but I can't remember what they're actually called. Fatsia japonica, $54. Then we have some spider plants, $4 for foliage, <laughs> for some spider plants. We have a bunch of birds of paradise, $24. We have, Foliage. I don't know what this is. I think I called this a Dracaena one time and someone got mad at me, so I'm really sorry if it's not a Dracaena, but these guys are $8. So, Hoya Carnosa Compacta, $14. That's a decent price for that much. Then over here, we literally just have a bunch of Pilea Pepperomoides. These are all $28. Literally, look how big that is. Very big. Up here, we have a Schifflera tree for $135. We have some money trees. The money trees, I think, are $26. $26. We have one, two strays easies for $26. We have Oh, so this one's called Ficus Green Island. That's what that big one was earlier. And this is Podocarpus bush. Interesting. Ooh, look at how cute this Macanoia looks. His stems are like tall, tall. That is so cute. We have some more Sansevieria. And a Natalie. <laughs> Here we have Ficus Ginseng. Cute. I love ficuses. They're really pulling out all the ficus stops. We have a massive bird of paradise. Oh, that's I think that's a sticky trap. <laughs> it stuck me. It gets Ashley's too. Okay, we have some more ficus benjamina vergata. More. Ooh. The new leaves are cute. Oh, that's a flower. Interesting. Wait, what? Why are the flowers putting out leaves? That's really weird. Okay, we have more Dracaena. This one is Ray of Sunshine. <laughs> Cute. We have Hoya Crimson Princess again, I think. Oh, is this a Shepardii? Cute. Hoya Shepardii, which I've never seen here before. That's really good. Okay, they're Crimson. What am I saying? They're the Hoya Carnosa Compactas are $33. 
I think that's pretty decent for all that you get. Wow, they have a lot of Shepherdii. That's nice. Their Crimson Princess is really, like, really nice too. I hope I'm saying the right one. I'm probably saying the wrong one. We have a bigger, not Sansevieria, a bigger Calathea snake plant. $22, that's a good price. $26 for Peperomia. We have Ficus Teneki for $24. I don't know why it says Sylvia. It's not right. Then we have Crown of Thorns Euphorbia. Gotta be careful with these guys. For $19.99. Super cute. They get these really cute flowers that double over each other. Okay, then on this side, going back, we have more zebra plants. More Hoya Shepherdii. More ropes. We have more snake plants. More white fusions. What are these? Ooh, this is a philodendron. Little Phil. These ones are troublesome for me because technically the little Phil's are trademarked where you can't like grow them or sell them yourself because it's illegal. But I don't know what's going on, if that's like a real thing or not. But yeah. And we have some more rays of sunshine. More Sansevieria, Ficus Sansevieria, Bird of Paradise, another Ficus Benjamina. That's the unvariegated kind, by the way. We have a fat golden Dracaena, Bird of Paradise, a fan palm, or fishtail palm. I think that's a. Oh god. It says Raphis palm. We have a ponytail palm. I would love to have one of these someday. They're so cute. We have another Ficus Maclome braids. Cute. Wow. Oh, we have Ansonai. Amazing. Okay, let's start over here first. So here we have variegated goldfish plants. Then we have Ficus Audrey. We have Jasmine in a hoop. That's really cute. $21, that's such a good price. We have, I think this is asparagus grass. More variegated goldfish. Big, big ZZs. We've got the burgundy ficus. We have Calathea ornata, which are great. I bought one for my fiance's uh, mom and she literally loves it. Calathea medallion. These are really beautiful, actually. Big Calathea macanoia. I love the detail on those leaves. Okay, here's the truth. Adam Sonai. What's the price? $30. Okay. I would say that's a pretty good price. That's a pretty big basket. I think this is regular form too. It's not necessarily round and it's not narrow. Cute. Okay, this is Calathea Warsegia, I think. Yeah, I know. It says Rubifara, so maybe I've been wrong, but it's a very like fuzzy Calathea. I don't know if you can see. But it's cute. Okay, Monster Deliciosa. We have $40. Um so this is like smaller, so I don't know that I would charge 40 for it, but the leaves on these are quite spectacular, so. And this one's more expensive. So let's see how big the bigger ones are. 45, okay. That's like, I, for literally $10 more, you could buy this. Not really, I think this is the best price I've seen for these. You could probably use your discount and finally have a Monstera Deliciosa. I could. And it's actually healthy. Like these are the best leaves I've ever seen. Then we have the Philodendron Crimson something, not crimson. What are these? Someone tell me what these are. Then we have a big, big jasmine. This has been here for literally forever. This big, big cage. What's the price? $400. Worthy of it. Very worthy of it, I would say. We have a big Shiflera. Calathea macanoia, Calathea rubifara. Magenta, Tricana, 
We have some regular Hoya Carnosa for $33. Fetonia for $8. This is a Papa Romeo Red Stem. See, this is different than the other one, so I don't know. Hartley Ferns. More zebra plants. And we have more Carnosa. Why am I saying that? Yeah. Carnosa Compacta. And over here, we actually have some terraria plants. So this is Okay, it just says foliage, but this is, I'm pretty sure, Joseph's coat. We have Peperomia Parallel something. We have some $15 string of pearls, which is pretty good. The price has gone down a lot out here. It used to be really expensive. Some more lemon lime philodendron. We have some Pilea Moon Valley. Oh, are you getting that? Maybe. Cute. We got some more terrarium plants, like the Purple Passion. And then if we walk back this way, oh wow, look at how big that bird of paradise is. Wow. We have some carnivorous beds. I'm glad that they're selling them in bigger collections because that's what they deserve. We have Dracana Twister, which is the only Dracana I've ever liked. And, oh, we have a Sago palm. These guys are really, really sharp. And I think that is our regular houseplant area. And I will show you around the rest of the nursery just for fun. So this is where we grow our seedlings. Got some cactus in the works. Then we have the rehab area. These are plants that just aren't doing so well. Back here you can see we have some really nice cacti that we're trying to trying to get going again. Here's another area. This is the perennial floor, right? Pretty sure this is perennials. Oh, the trumpet queen is here. That plant is very toxic to animals. Ooh, I had one of these. Ornamental pepper. Rest in peace. Here's a couple more house plants. Not really anything I would ever pick up, but they're cute. For the fun part, we're at the cactus and succulent area, which I have very recently fallen in love with. Look at that one. Now, I don't know the names of any of these, so I can't really name anything for you guys, but just know that I'm wishing I knew. I really like these blue ones. I have one at home and it's twirling. Oh my gosh, lithops are flowering? Yeah. I didn't know they could do that. Amazing. Variegated jade. I do know that one. Because I used to have it. It's pretty. This is the aloe I was telling you about, Natalie. Isn't that insane? This is aloe carmine. Literally looks like it could kill you. Love it. Thought about buying it a few times. We have, ooh, string of dolphins. That's a nice find. We have also Koya curtisii. I have one of those. I bought it here, actually for $20, cute, big, big jade. More string of pearls. I 
have this. It's gonna tell me the species name. It's like the, it was my first plant that I ever bought ever. Crassula mesembryanthemoides. Mesembryanthemoides, mesembryanthemoides, okay. Crassula mesembryanthemoides. Now I will always know the name. It's like the only plant I own that I don't know the name of. I like this twisty aloe, aloe blue wave. I thought about getting one, but I just genuinely have no space left. We have more pink aloe, which is amazing. Agave, the best, best looking serious spiralis, especially at that top. Looks so good. Another kind of agave back there. Big aloe. Bigger aloe, oh my gosh. Little aloe. Cute. Look at how pink she is. I'm ready for the flowers. They're almost here. Thank you so much for watching this houseplant tour. Please be sure to leave a like, please comment, please tweet me at David Dobrik. And <laughs> if you're gonna leave a if you're gonna leave a comment, please comment which houseplant was your favorite. Ooh. Sorry, I know it's such a basic question, but which one was your favorite? And we wanna know. please check out every single one of my other videos. You have to watch every single one. Now you're locked into a contract. <laughs> you're stuck. You have to do it. I'll see you in the next house paint video. Bye. I don't know. Now I'm counting, I guess. <laughs>